Job chapter 22, third series of speeches. Eliphaz speaks. Then Eliphaz the Temanite replied, Can a man be of any use to God? Can even a wise man be of use to him? Does it delight the Almighty if you are righteous? Does he profit if you perfect your behavior? Does he correct you and take you to court because of your piety? Is it your wickedness abundant and aren't your iniquities endless? For you took collateral from your brothers without cause, stripping off their clothes and leaving them naked. You gave no water to the thirsty and withheld food from the famished. While the land belonged to a powerful man and an influential man lived on it. You sent widows away empty-handed, and the strength of the fatherless was crushed. Therefore snares surround you, and sudden dread terrifies you, or darkness, so you cannot see, and a flood of water covers you. Isn't God as high as the heavens? And look at the highest stars, how lofty they are. Yet you say, What does God know? Can he judge through thick darkness? Clouds veil him so that he cannot see, as he walks on the circle of the sky. Will you continue on the ancient path that wicked men have walked? They were snatched away before their time, and their foundations were washed away by a river. They were the ones who said to God, Leave us alone, and what can the Almighty do to us? But it was who, he who filled their houses with good things. The counsel of the wicked is far from me. The righteous see this and rejoice. The innocent mock them, saying, Surely our opponents are destroyed, and fire has consumed what they left behind. Come to terms with God and be at peace. In this way good will come to you. Receive instruction from his mouth and place his sayings in your heart. If you return to the Almighty, you will be renewed. If you banish injustice from your tent and consign your gold to the dust, the gold of Ophir to the stones and the wadis, the Almighty will be your gold and your finest silver. Then you will delight in the Almighty and lift up your face to God. You will pray to him, and he will hear you, and you will fulfill your vows. When you make a decision, it will be carried out, and light will shine on your ways. When others are humiliated and you say, lift them up, God will save the humble. He will even rescue the guilty one, who will be rescued by the purity of your hands.